Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video on my channel. My name is Ankita. So in this video, I'm going to share with you six different looks that I created using my mother's sarees. So I always use my mother's sarees in my videos and I style them in different ways. So I thought let's just make a dedicated video on it. I know a lot of you young girls follow my channel. So if you want to take some inspiration and use your mother's sarees for some special occasion like maybe a wedding in the family or any other function that you want to attend where you want to wear your mother's sarees but you don't know how to style them and you don't want to wear the blouse that comes with the saree so you can just get a few of these ready-made blouses and create all of these looks really really easily so if you want to know what are the looks that I created using my mother's sarees, please keep on watching. So I have a few pictures of my mother wearing these sarees that I want to share with you. I couldn't find all the pictures but um, I found a few that I want to share with you. So I have this picture. It is sort of a blurry picture but I hope you can see my mother wearing the same saree that I have styled in this video. She is wearing it with a simple sleeveless blouse and this is how I have styled it. So this is a beautiful green saree with golden sequence work all over. My mother had got it as a wedding gift and uh, she has preserved it so well. The saree is in excellent condition. And I'm wearing it with this green brocade blouse from Studio Shringar. Though it's a different shade of green but I think together it works really really well because of the golden work on both the sari as well as the blouse. And for jewellery I'm wearing this gorgeous Kundan Choker necklace along with the statement ring. I feel this jewellery is really complementing the sari. I'm also carrying this golden clutch bag to complete the look. I love the way this look turned out. So that was the first look. For the second look, I have this green sari. My mother has a lot of greens in her wardrobe. So three of the saris that I've chosen for this video are actually different shades of green. The second sari that I styled is this gorgeous green color silk gadwal sari with a brown color pallu. It has a beautiful golden border. It's a very traditional sari, so I've paired it with a conventional silk blouse. This one had come with some other sari, but since the color is so similar, so I paired it with this one. For jewelry, I decided to wear a very traditional South Indian temple jewelry set. So I'm wearing this long necklace and matching jhumkas. I'm also wearing these kada bangles. Carrying a simple golden clutch bag to complete the look. So that is how I styled a traditional sari with some temple jewelry. I love the way this look turned out. For the third sari, I have this beautiful grey and navy blue ikat silk sari. It's a very very traditional sari and I have paired it with this navy blue brocade blouse from Studio Stringard. The blouse has a closed round neck and elbow sleeves. I feel such blouses are a perfect match with traditional silk saris. To complement the sari and the blouse, I am wearing this choker necklace with blue rhinestones and pearls. It also comes with matching earrings. And I'm carrying this golden metallic clutch bag to finish the look. You can create so many looks with traditional sarees. You can pair them with different blouses and then accessorize them differently, wear different jewelry with it. And you will have so many different looks. So that was the third look. For the fourth look, I have this gorgeous Gujarati stitch saree that I borrowed from my mother. The fabric is pure tassar silk and it has maroon color Gujarati embroidery all over. So I have paired it with this maroon color blouse from Tijori. I have also draped the sari a little differently and brought the pallu to the front. For jewelry, I am wearing this Navratan necklace with matching earrings. I am wearing my Kundan statement ring and also my Kundan bangles. Carrying this colorful clutch bag to complete the look. And that is the finished look. 
for the fifth look i have used this beautiful green sari so this is the sari she is wearing the sari with the same blouse that comes with the sari that is what our mothers do most of the time they get the blouse piece that comes with the sari stitched and that is how they wear their sarees so this is the most gorgeous steel green sari with a kashmiri embroidered border it also has small embroidered booties all over i am not too sure about the fabric but the sari has the most amazing feel it drapes beautifully i have styled the sari in so many of my videos it also has small maroon stones throughout the sari so i've paired it with this gorgeous maroon velvet blouse this is one of my favorite blouses and i absolutely love this combination for jewelry i'm wearing another favorite choker necklace set the choker necklace has maroon beads and a multicolored pendant it also comes with matching earrings I am in love with this combination. Let me know what you think. So that was the fifth look. I also have this picture where she is wearing the maroon sari. I think this photo was taken during some vacation in Bombay. This was actually before I was born. So all of these sarees are like really really old. So for the sixth and final look, I have used this beautiful maroon satin sari with cutwork details. This sari is so old yet it's so modern. It looks gorgeous. I have paired it with the same maroon color velvet blouse to create this monochrome look. For jewelry I'm also wearing the same choker necklace with maroon beads and matching earrings. And this is the finished look. The last two looks are my absolute favorites. So that was the sixth and final look. So that is it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did then don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let me know which was your favorite look and also let me know how you like to style your mother's sarees and if she lets you use them or not. So that is it for this video. You can find my social media details in the description box and you can also check out other videos on my channel right here. I'm sure you're going to love them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.